Hi, this is Kirk Davis from Green River Community College uh, Small Business Assistance Center. I'm here with Carlos Cortez, uh, owner of uh, Las Agaves. Uh, we wanted to show you uh, the restaurant from the outside. We're here on the corner of uh, James and 104th, so hopefully you can find this really easily. Uh, Carlos, let's go in. I've got uh, Carlos here. We would like to welcome you guys to the most authentic flavor of the Mexican cuisine. We've been searching for different months in the culinary arts of the Mexico country. Right, welcome to Los Agaves. Oh, thank you. Now let me introduce you guys with yeah. what is the concept over here. Most of the food that we have over here is being made up with a special recipe trying to keep the authentic flavors and the authentic way that we serve this food in Mexico. We search for four different states, including Mexico City and the south part of Mexico, including a state like Oaxaca, Chiapas, and Tabasco. Can you tell me uh, what, what Chef Oscar is doing in the back there? Chef Oscar is working back there in a vertical oven. It's a marinade meat with a natto seeds, pineapple, and onion. We call it al pastor, and it's slowly roasted, okay. and that's where we get the flavor in that one. Like Very you can nice. see we got a top of the pineapple, so every time we serve a taco it comes with a pineapple. That's the authentic way that we have in Mexico City, uh, so that's what you eat over there. Super. Hey, Oscar, Chef Oscar, it's so nice to see you. Uh, maybe you could take us through the menu. Let's walk over here and so when you first come into the restaurant, <clears throat> uh, you'll come here to the menu and, and look at the uh, the options. So go ahead and talk us through the, through the menu here. I'm going to go a little closer, give it a little better shot. So what do we got? Well, the number one we have is tacos. We have um, three tacos choice. We have different kind of meats. Our, our best seller that we do in uh, the Fremont Farmers Market this is the tacos al pastor. Ah. A lot of people know these tacos because they usually go for vacation, for example, like Puerto Vallarta, Mexico City, um, other places in Mexico, and they see it. So once they see it in the farmers market, they get really excited and they're like, oh, let me try one of those. So that's the number one. The number two is a burrito. Okay. It's a, it's a classic burrito, rice, beans, wheels, black beans, because they're healthier. I'm getting really hungry here, so. Oh, very good. <laughs> this is good, yeah. Uh, and then we also put some pico de gallo, sour cream, and we use queso fresco. We only use um, Mexican cheese for all our food. We don't use any other cheese. Really? Cheese. Wow. Yes. Really fresh. I have a provider that brings them over from Mexico. That's why they taste so good. Yeah. Yes, and the number three is a quesadilla. We use flour tortilla. Okay. We put some uh, queso Oaxaca. It's almost like... Uh, it's uh, shredded cheese. Oh, okay. It's really fresh, really tasty. Um, and then we put your choice of meat. It comes with uh, sour cream, pico de gallo, and fresh cheese, queso fresco. On oh, very it nice. With rice and beans. It's really, really nice, really healthy. Really good. The number mm. four is the carne asada. It's pure steak that we marinate in uh, our spices, lime juice, uh, orange oh, yeah. juice, cumin. And then we grill it to the uh, perfection of the customer. Okay. And then we serve it with fresh tortillas, guacamole, and pico de gallo. Very nice. The number five is the, is the torta, which All is right. uh, it's a sandwich. We grill the bread, sourdough bread. Uh, we put some uh, oh, fresh wow. avocado, tomatoes, choice of meat. We put some pico jalapeno. So why did, why did you choose sourdough bread for that? But well, that's what we usually use in Mexico, Mexico City for the, for the tortas. Oh, okay. The so this is just all authentic. All authentic, as, as close as we can get. Wow. And uh, the number six is basically a picture of the Al Pastor meat. And uh, we use that picture everywhere in our logo. So most people that used to be at the farmer's market over in, in, in Kirkland or in Juanita Bay, uh, they know that. They're that familiar with that. They're that's familiar a, with the pictures. That's yeah. a, and, and you were telling me earlier that this is uh, so difficult that most restaurants don't do it. Yeah, it's basically a lot of labor intense. Um, and uh, we have a lot of regulations for the, this kind of uh, food in, uh, yeah. style. Wonderful. So yeah. tamales, huh? Tamales. We, let's go to the number seven, the tamales. I used to have the same recipe that my grandpa used to use in the, in the 1950s. Um, and we use um, banana leaf for the, for the tamales. Oh, yeah. It's really different, tastes different. Um, the flavor is, is a lot better, and it keeps the tamales uh, moist. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wonderful. And let me have you, um, Carlos, my, my uh, uh, business partner, he's going to explain you uh, about the, the huarache and the, and okay. the, and the Great. Well, the huarache is a really traditional deal that we have from the Mexico City. There is a huge market we call the Jamaica market. Okay. It's a homemade tortilla filled up with black beans. And ah. you can choose your different stops of meat. Like I say, most of the meats, they are marinated for two days on the restaurant. They are handmade. Wow. Cuts. So we do our own cuts over here. I was hungry before, but now I'm really hungry. That's, <laughs> that sounds that's amazing. Going, this one. Yes. 
Uh, we top the, the warache with any of choice of the salsa that we have on the restaurant. We got two kinds of salsa. We got the spicy and mild. And after that, we drop any kind of dressing. We got a salad, chicken, pork, corn, and chorizo for that one. Wow. Top with fresh cheese and pineapple. The tone, well, oh. it's, it's kind of a different uh, cut of meat. We, we start getting used to sell that one over here in the United States. That's the tone of the cow. We oh yeah we cook uh, we cook that one really slow with some spices. After that, we peel it, we slice it, and we cube that one. It's a really tender meat. I, oh, it I is can a tender tell, meat. I wondered. I yeah. can tell you that's the most tender part of the cow. It's, it's kind of right? different. It's a different so, flavor. In so that if you one. want a new taste experience, come come the taste the tongue. Yeah, come and taste the tongue. It's gonna be for some people. It's kind of weird just to know about this tongue, but the flavor is intense and the tender is, is the most tender piece of wow. the meat. Wow. So that's what we have. In, in the in the top. See, and well, if we didn't do this video, nobody would know. This nobody will know, but I want everyone to come over and taste the tongue because we it's a it's a really. Huh? And beside that, we sell oh, tripe yeah. over here. That's a traditional. Like I say, we did a lot of. Research. This is traditional, yeah. So we did a, a, a research in Mexico, and we sell in tripe. The tripe, what we do, we boil the tripe with some different spices too. We grill it to perfection. Most of the people like it really crispy, so that's how we serve. We serve that one in any of the dishes. It can be wow. tacos. Burritos, quesadillas, any of the dishes over there. And now we're going to the flautas. The flautas, a handmade tortilla, fill it out with, with chicken. We deep fried that one, sour cream, cheese on the top. And another different thing that we use in this restaurant is the black beans. Black beans, according with the health department, that's the most healthy beans that we can eat. The protein inside of the black beans is similar, like you're eating a really huge steak. We have all the flavor, all the protein. And we took that one with epazote. That's a while a, a spicy does grow up in Mexico, oh. just to try to keep the most authentic of that one. Wow, super. Well, now, I'm very interested in the desserts you do, because they are amazing. Well, the desserts, we got two kinds of desserts over here. Okay. We got the tres, tres leches cake. That's a really traditional I'm gonna get cake. Straight, I'm going to get straight ahead with it here. Yeah, yeah go ahead. That's a really traditional cake that we have in Mexico. Basically, the way we do hey, this one is we suck it up some of the sponge cake in three different kinds of meal. And after that, we do two layers. We fill it up in the middle. We top it with that one. And that's a cake that we use in any kind of celebration wow. in Mexico. The coconut plant is a, it's a really unique dish that uh, Chef Oscar have over here in, in the restaurant. It's a plant that we use instead of the traditional vanilla plant that you guys are used to. We use coconut milk for that one. That's for the south part of Mexico. And we top that one with cajeta. It's like a caramel with a darker color. I, and I, I took like that home to my family. They just ate it up in seconds. It was so good. I believe you. They're coming. They're coming back for more. It's this one of the good. best sellers that we have over here, the coconut plant. Oh my goodness. Now I would like, Oscar, he, he had a really special recipe for the horchata water. It's one of oh, our yes. biggest sellers, that one. And the tepache is a really traditional drink for Oh good, tell us, Oscar. This is well, let me tell you about the horchata thing. Horchata is basically um, rice that we, we blend with uh, milk, cinnamon, and vanilla. And then we, we had to make it like two days ahead, so the flavor comes always the same. Wow! And we do that in one every every you know every farmers market that we go. People just love it. Kids oh yeah! Just love it because the cinnamon is the sugar that oh. has in it. That is great. Well, we want to encourage everybody to come out and try the restaurant, and hopefully this gave you some insight into the menu and the chefs and the things you're going to experience here. And we, you'll hear more about us later. So let me just zoom in here on on uh, Chef Oscar. Um, any any last words? Well, um, come and visit us, and don't forget that we also do catering and have us around at your next party. Oh, the, don't forget the catering. Thanks, Oscar. Thank you.